button and inside of the curly braces we are gonna have in the we're gonna create a variable name uh, just press and we are gonna set it to the boolean for semicolon at the end then we're gonna have this for loop okay inside of the for loop we're gonna have some conditions so we're gonna have this variable bar name with this variable declaration name i and we're gonna initialize it to zero and as long as i is less than the i is less than the buttons then the buttons press okay we're gonna uh, increment i by one so okay so as long as okay so first we are initializing the variable so e is gonna i is gonna be set to zero then we ha we're gonna have the condition as long as i is less than the buttons press that length okay so that length we're gonna increment i by one and inside of the the curly braces we're gonna have the if statement so we're gonna have if okay outside of that if the buttons press so we're gonna have if the buttons if the buttons press and we're gonna pass in i if the buttons press is set to is set to button okay if okay if the buttons press with the index i is set to button okay it's not equal it's just set because if it is equal it would be three equal signs so we are gonna do something so and that something is that we are gonna set press to true to the boolean true okay so the variable press we would be setting it to the boolean true okay that's fine um okay this is inside of the for loop okay so this is right here okay so now we will, we will just return the variable press semicolon at the end so we will just return this variable that we created here and we have initialized it or set it to false return okay S okay save it and now we're gonna have in the pretty much the leap motion okay so it's gonna be the, the sleep motion okay so let me see okay so we have the mouse okay the mouse it has functionality yeah everything is fine here so we are almost done we just have to put in the the spaceship image and okay so right now we're gonna be dealing with the leap motion okay so leap motion let me see so we're gonna have the okay this is the leap motion okay let me see we're gonna ha we already have this no okay we don't have this yet so we have this variable declaration name two degrees okay so two degrees and we're gonna s oops we are gonna set it to one we're gonna set it to one divided by and it's gonna be divided by okay so and it's gonna be math okay math that uh, pi okay divided by 180 okay that's fine and then we're gonna have um, the bar and bar declaration so horizontal degree so horizontal degree horizontal degree and we are gonna set it to zero semicolon at the end horizontal degree okay then we're gonna have again so the the vertical degree and we are gonna set it to zero zero as well and we're gonna have degree okay we're gonna have in degree um, let me see and it's gonna be the the threshold threshold so okay like this threshold and we are gonna set it to 30 and now we're gonna have the grab strength so it's 
gonna be grab or grab strength strength and we are gonna okay grab strength and we are gonna set it to zero okay that's fine we have this variable let me double check two degrees one divided by math that pi divided by 180 then we have the horizontal degree set it to zero vertical degree set it to zero degree threshold set it to 30 crap strength set it to zero okay so now we're gonna have in the leap okay so the first one is the first letter is with capital so we capitalize the first letter loop no leap that loop leap that loop we are gonna open parentheses and inside of the parentheses we're gonna pass in, we're gonna have in this object we we'll open curly braces and we are gonna have in, we're gonna have this time hand colon and we are gonna have the function name function okay so we're gonna have function and we are gonna pass in hand we're gonna open curly braces here and we're gonna use these variables that we created so horizontal degree okay that's fine we are gonna set it to the to the math we're gonna set it to the math that round to the math that round and we are gonna pass in the hand that roll okay and we are gonna multiply by the by two degrees okay yeah that's fine semicolon at the end we also gonna have uh let's copy maybe this one and yeah it's gonna be vertical okay so it's gonna be vertical degree like that vertical degree we're gonna set it to the math that round hand that instead of roll is gonna be pitch so it's gonna be pitch okay and we're gonna multiply it to two degrees and then we are gonna have the other variable that is gonna be the grab stream we're gonna set it to something okay yeah we're gonna set it to the hand that and grab strength so grab strength grab strength semicolon at the end now we are gonna have in the we are gonna have in, yeah pretty much we're gonna have the output we're gonna have the output that inner html and we're gonna set it to okay this double quote so we're gonna have in the leap okay leap motion okay so calling then we're gonna have the vr slash uh, we're gonna close in the angle brackets okay so to the next line uh, to the next line we're gonna use in the plus sign let me see if this is right uh, let's oops oops let me see uh, let me let me move this one up we have the output that inner html leap motion br and then we are gonna have okay so we're gonna open double quotes again we are gonna have in the role calling space and then we're gonna concatenate it and we're gonna concatenate it to the horizontal degree so horizontal degree okay so plus and now we're gonna have in double quotes um okay so i'm just gonna copy this sign so i don't know how to do it right now so i'm gonna check it out later but let's just copy it for now so this is the degree symbol and um, let me see okay that's fine and now again i'm gonna concatenate it again so plus sign double quotes we are gonna have this time we're gonna have in the page okay so calling and we're gonna concatenate it again it's gonna be vertical degree let me see just one space 
okay so plus sign and again we're gonna have in the same thing so double quotes and then we're gonna have the degree sign and then angle brackets vr slash okay so now finally we are gonna have in the plus sign double quotes we're gonna have in the strength okay space is gonna be strength okay double quotes space and plus sign and then we are gonna have in the grab string semicolon at the end and we are gonna save it so for now and let me see yeah and then we're gonna put a semicolon at the end of the parenthesis this parenthesis of the lip loop let's save it so we have that so far okay so everything is looking nice all right so we're almost done with this code uh, let me see okay so this is inside here so now finally we are gonna have in the in the draw so i don't know if you remember in the previous videos if you watch it in order to let me see here we're gonna type in draw and then we're gonna have in the function general function draw so we open parentheses and we open curly braces okay so now we're gonna have in the ctx that uh, clear is gonna be the clear rect okay so clear rectangle so we're gonna pass in parameter 0 comma 0 comma uh, we're gonna have in the canvas that with canvas that with comma we're gonna have in the canvas that height okay so we have that semicolon at the end okay ctx below that we are gonna have in we're gonna have in the keyboard okay so again if okay so we will have the if statement declaration if so we will have some conditions here if the right press so if the right press then we are gonna have the player x and we are gonna set it to oops we're gonna have in the um the assignment operator the addition assignment operator five addition assignment operator five okay uh let me see else if we're gonna have left press if left press then we are gonna have in the player y uh, yeah the player y uh, no the player x has to be player x yet and it's gonna be the subtraction operator subtraction assignment operator fa uh, 5 semicolon at the end okay so that is the first if else if so now we're gonna have another if and this time it's gonna be okay so we have this one so now we're gonna have in down press we're gonna have in down press curly braces so we're gonna have in the player y and we're gonna set it to five so let me see yeah we're gonna have the player y set it to the addition assignment operator 5 uh, here else else if uh, else if we're gonna have a press so it's gonna be a press and inside of the curly braces oop, yeah inside of the curly braces we are gonna have the player y minus uh, assignment operator 5 semicolon at the end okay so that's pretty much it for the if else if statement let's save it and let me see okay so we have else if so we are still inside of the function draw okay so we are still inside of the function draw 
and inside of the function draw we are gonna have in the the game update handler so we're gonna call it so uh, let me see we are gonna game gamepad update handler we are gonna call it semicolon at the end and don't forget to put the parentheses okay so game update handler and now we're gonna have some let's go here so we're gonna have um, we're gonna have an if statement so again we're gonna open curly braces and here we're gonna have game okay so it's gonna be the game button okay so game pad button press handler okay and we're gonna pass in zero as a parameter if okay this function game button press handler we're passing zero if this is true then we are gonna have in the player x we're gonna have in the no i mean the player y we are gonna set it to the minus assignment operator five like this semicolon at the end oh uh, yeah that's fine else if semicolon at the end uh, let me see let me see else if okay so okay so else if the game button press handler the game button press handler we're gonna pass in one okay inside of the parentheses so we're gonna have in the player x we're gonna have in the addition assignment operator five so let me see if this is right if this is correct okay yeah that's right okay so now we're gonna have another let's go below so uh, this one let's move this one like this okay so we're gonna have an if as an if else statement here so this time is gonna be game button press handler so it's gonna be the game button press handler and we're gonna pass in two if this is true then we're gonna have in the player x and we're gonna set it to the to the subtraction assignment operator 5 okay else if else if okay so we're gonna oops yeah else if the game okay so the game button press handler parenthesis 3 then we are gonna have the player the player y i mean the player x addition assignment operator five okay um finally if if the game okay so game yeah game the game pad button press handler if we're passing 11 then we're gonna have this uh, we're gonna have this alert and it's just gonna be boom okay with exclamation mark at the end so this is for the yeah now we're gonna deal with the leap motion okay and again we are still inside of the draw function so now we're gonna be dealing with the with leap motion we're gonna have with the leap motion and yeah we're almost done here so let me see uh, leap motion okay okay so if okay so we have the if statement if the horizontal if the horizontal degree is greater than the vertical degree I mean if the is greater than the degree threshold then we are gonna have in the player X we're gonna we're gonna set it to the subtraction assignment operator 5 semicolon at the end okay so now else if else if parenthesis semicolon at the end else if uh, we are gonna have in the horizontal degree so we're gonna have in the horizontal degree oops 
we're gonna have in the horizon uh, horizontal degree is greater than I mean is less than negative degree threshold okay so we are gonna have the we're gonna have in the player X addition assignment operator 5 semicolon at the end now we're gonna have the if statement here we're gonna have if the vertical degree if the vertical degree is greater than the degree threshold then we are gonna have the player y so we're gonna have in the player y we're gonna have in the player y addition assignment operator 5 semicolon at the end and we're gonna have else if semi okay else if parenthesis uh, curly braces we are gonna have in the vertical oops has to be in the parenthesis vertical vertical degree is less than the vertical degree is less than the minus degree threshold then we are gonna have in the player y we're gonna have in the player y the player y uh, subtraction addition operator set to 5 semicolon at the end and finally we're gonna have the our final if statement so if if grab if grab strain is set to set to one okay if grab string is set to one then we are gonna have an alert and we are gonna pass in the we're gonna pass in this stream boom okay semicolon at the end and let me see what else we need so we're almost done we go after that final if statement then we're gonna gonna we're gonna call ctx we're gonna have this method draw image okay so finally we're gonna have the draw image oops has to be draw image came on notation we're gonna pass in image we're gonna pass in player x we're gonna pass in player y and okay semicolon at the end and now request animation frame so now we're gonna call request okay this one request animation frame and we're gonna pass in the function that we just created so the function draw so this function that we have been working on with so we can save it and let me see okay so now let me see So now the only thing to do is just pretty much call in this function draw. So we're gonna go uh, after the curly brace and just type in draw. Uh, open parenthesis and be calling at the end. And let me see. We're gonna go into the okay. So into the index.html file. Right click and open with live server. And there you have it. So this is pretty much our whole code. So we have the spaceship we can move in the y coordinate so we are pretty much decreasing in numbers 85 80 70 60 okay so we can go into the x direction so we are pretty much decreasing as well in number we can move forward and we can you if if you have your laptop and you just having the touchpad you can just use your finger and pretty much move in circles here or you can use the keyboards and move forward, move backward, move forward, backward, up and down, like that. Okay, if you also press the and your keyboards, the letter W, you can move up. If you press S, uh, you're gonna move down. Okay, if you press D, you're gonna move forward. If you press A, you're gonna move backward. So, pretty much, this is the whole functionality for this small demo